make a video about Colleen Ballinger and the follow up to the accusations they made against her, but she's made an apology video. And apparently, I haven't watched it yet. It might be the worst apology video in history. Not even really too sure if it's actually an apology <laughs> video. To be honest, I was I was going through the comments trying to you know like get a get a feel for it, and uh, I, I recorded it while I was doing it, and it just, it, it's a little weird. Comments are kind of disappearing and stuff. Look at this. What's going on here? Dave's not recording yet, but I'm just I'm recording because I this said like twenty three thousand comments, and I refresh it, and thousands of comments just disappeared. Yeah, this had like there's like twenty three thousand comments, and I, I went to like top comments first, and it had like people complaining about her, and they're gone now. And if I go to like newest uh, four minutes ago, you know, then it skips like nineteen minutes. Oh, oh, they went. They they just. <laughs> That's not good. Hey everyone, PJ here. And I know I'm a little late to the party, but I had steak and mac and cheese for dinner last night, and that shit will put you into a coma and leave you with a food baby that like you wouldn't believe. But back on topic, Colleen recently uploaded a response to the recent accusations made against her. If you want a full recap of what's happened, I already made a video on her, so watch that if you don't already know. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Some things that people have said about Colleen's response is that it's the worst apology video on YouTube. Something I'm sure you haven't already heard already, but anyway, Ton of milk this for all it's worth. Up, oh, up, oh, she did it. She did the thing. Hey, it's been a while since you saw my face. I haven't been doing so great, so I took a little break. So a lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. Doesn't matter if it's true, though. Just as long as it's entertaining. What do you mean it's not quite true? You mean you sending Adam McIntyre your underwear or the sick shit you've said in group chats? And also, define entertaining. Because if this is what counts as entertainment, then I've officially lost all connection to this world. God, and I'm only 30 seconds in. Right? You guys having fun? All aboard the toxic gossip train. You're chugging down the tracks of misinformation. About that. You see, Colleen, it's not misinformation if there's proof of it. Colleen Ballinger pretending to be on a date with a nine-year-old and telling him to reach into her pants for a snack, making the child very uncomfortable towards the end as everyone laughs at him. WTF, WTF, WTF. Colleen Ballinger bringing a child on stage to act out giving birth. Colleen, pretending to be Miranda's uncle in this segment, says that she likes little girls, making a pedophilic comment. And Colleen says the girl smells fertile and gets between her legs. My god, how do these persons sleep at night? -way manipulation station. Manipulation? Yeah, you sure know a thing or two about that, wouldn't you? Time me to the tracks and harass me for my past. Ah, uh, yes. When all else fails, play the harassment card. This is a tactic that a lot of people who've come under fire do. They'll play the victim and say they're being targeted by cancel culture instead of actually taking accountability for their actions. And while I don't condone harassment of any kind, because I'm sure she's actually dealt with a lot of that as a result of this drama, I'm not gonna try to pretend she doesn't deserve it. Ironic, since this song contains the lyrics, One Way Ticket to Manipulation Station, since this video is literally her trying to manipulate her fan base, or what's left of it anyway. Uh, hi everyone. I've been wanting to come online and talk to you about a few things. Um, even though my team has strongly advised me to not say what I want to say, I recently realized that they never said that I couldn't sing. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. I was gonna play that scene from Victorious, but unfortunately someone else already beat me to the punch. I guess it's my fault for falling into that food coma. I am, and um, today I only want to talk about the facts. If by facts you mean things you want to be factual, then yeah, I'd say you're giving us the facts. Many years ago, I used to message my fans. Uh, but not in a creepy way, like a lot of you are trying to suggest. It was more of a... I've poured my heart out to you, and because of that I feel like I'm talking to my friends, but in the beginning of my career, I didn't really understand that maybe there should be some boundaries there. Ain't that the damn truth? 
There were times in the DMs when I would overshare details of my life, which was really weird of me. I haven't done that for years, you see, because I changed my behavior and I took accountability. But that's not very interesting, is it? So let's go on the toxic gossip train. The locomotive's fueled with hateful accusations. The toxic well, I can see where you tried to take accountability, but you still sent your underwear to a minor, sent sexually explicit questions to said minor, tried to film a naked child on the beach, allegedly started a fake fundraiser, meaning you probably have blood on your hands, and involved actual children in a play where you made sexual jokes toward them. And even if you did these as a joke, this is still predatory behavior. Like I said in my last video, dark humor has limits. Honestly, Colleen, along with everyone in her friend group, are just plain awful. Sick gossip train. The locomotive's fueled with hateful accusations. The toxic gossip train. Steamroll over someone's reputation. seriousness, I do think it's really important to hold people accountable for their mistakes. Um, you know, we should hope that everyone can learn from their mistakes and grow and change their behavior and be a better person. And this is something that I've always tried to do when I make mistakes, and it's something that I will continue to try to do. What? Oh, you don't care? Oh, okay. I thought you wanted me to take accountability, but that's not the point of your mob mentality, is it? No. Your goal is to ruin the life of the person you despise while you dramatize your lies and monetize their demise. And now she's coping. That's basically all this video is, just her playing the victim card. I don't think I can stomach to watch any more of this. I'm just gonna leave this video here. But what do you think? As always, I strongly encourage you to do your own research on this topic and come to your own conclusion. And as much as I think she deserves it, please do not go and harass Colleen or anyone in her friend group, because all it's gonna do is establish that you're no better than she is. I know it's hard, but you gotta be the bigger person. And as always, my name is PJ, and I'm gonna get ice cream. You ain't never gonna slow me down, cause I feel alive now.